War never changes. Hello Vault Dwellers and welcome to the Power Armor Guide for Fallout 1. This guide will go over how to get a suit of power armor and the things required to upgrade it to the hardened version. There are a few requirements to get both the armor and the upgrade, as well as ways to go about it, which will be discussed too. Discovering the Brotherhood of Steel bunker will be our first step. Taking a caravan from the hub is one way, or just going northwest yourself. After your introduction with Cabot at the front door, you'll first need to gain entry by proving yourself to the Brotherhood of Steel. Brute force is an option, but a foolhardy one. The other way in is to accept the quest Cabot gives you and travel to the Glow to recover some recon logs. Fortunately, I've also created a full guide for the Glow, which can be accessed through the card on the upper right hand side of the screen, or the link in the description. The short version of the quest is to head south to the Glow, use a couple of Radex, use a rope on the crater to descend to the first floor, and loot the Holodisc off of the Brotherhood member just off to your right when you enter. Return with the Holodisc and you will be permitted entry to the Brotherhood of Steel bunker. Now for the actual acquisition of your power armor. Lockpicking your way into the level 1 storage room is one of your options. While it is direct, it is also one of the most reckless, because look at all the guards wearing the thing you're trying to steal. Not the only choice, thankfully. For the Vault Dweller with an affinity for repair, you can take the lift down to the third level and speak to Kyle in the maintenance workshop on the far side. To his right will be a dismantled set of power armor, and asking him how to get some will result in him basically giving it to you in the state that it's in. The catch here is you need to find a systolic motivator, which the power armor needs to function, then have a moderately high repair skill or a lot of luck to fix it yourself. First things first, there are two places you can get a systolic motivator. One of them is in Rhombus's room on the first level. It is located within his locker and you will need to sneak around to get to it. If you attempt it later at night, he will be by the bed instead, possibly making it easier. The second systolic motivator can be given to you by Michael, the equipment manager of the storage room also on the first floor. Getting it from him will require a social skills check. If you get the systolic motivator either of these ways, you can then return to Kyle on the third floor where he will install the systolic motivator and leave you to repair the armor yourself. I highly recommend saving before your attempt to repair the armor because the first time you do it has the highest chance of success, meaning there is a slight chance you can get lucky with a low repair skill. Otherwise, you'll need a repair skill of around 70 for repeated attempts. Get it fixed up and you have a fully intact set of power armor. For the third way to acquire some power armor, across from equipment storage you can find Talus, who is supervising the training room on level 1. If your reputation is at 16 or higher, you can see about freeing a Brotherhood prisoner by the name of Jonathan in the hub's Old Town. Old Town being the northeast section. He's locked up in a building just below the entrance of Old Town, surrounded by four well-armed thugs. Opening the front door will initiate combat immediately, but do keep in mind you can attack them from the windows too. After taking them down, you can pick the easy lock on the back room door and speak to the initiate. Once he's freed, return to Talus at the Brotherhood Bunker, and he will give you a list of rewards to choose from, one of which being power armor. At this point, you should have yourself a set of brand new power armor that's not quite as shiny as it could be. In order to get the power armor hardened, we go to Aditum in the LA Boneyard. Here you're looking for a chemist named Miles, wearing a sciency smock, and if you've helped him repair their hydroponics farm, Miles will offer to upgrade a suit of power armor if you bring it to him, but first requiring some chemistry journals, a small fetch quest that will send you to downtown of the hub to Mrs. Stapleton's library, where you can make a direct request for the chemistry journals for 750 caps. Return the Miles in the LA Boneyard once you have the chemistry journals, and he will harden your set of power armor at no cost except time. Time. The damage resistances and damage threshold are what get increased with the hardened variant, so generally you'll be better protected across the board. Now that you have the means, go out there and make yourself a wasteland legend. That Vault Dwellers is how to acquire power armor in Fallout 1 and how to harden it. If you have any tips or hints related to finding power armor, please add it to the comments to help out your fellow Wastelanders and me as well. If perhaps you found this guide useful, entertaining, or a little bit of both, do whatever it is you see fit to show that. And please consider supporting the channel on Patreon. Thanks so much for watching, this is Kato Genesis, holding out hope that you can save the Vault today and the Wasteland tomorrow.